Do you guys want to know how to build this? Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's go. What is going on everybody? Paul the Inventory King. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. We're continuing on with this auto water change system here in the fish room. We've got a couple things done so far and now we're building this manifold. So let's go, let's build it, let's get this thing rolling. So what we're gonna do right now is we are going to assemble the bottom part of the valve system, so the manifold. All right, so what we're doing right now is we are getting the Teflon tape onto the threads of these male nipples and using a wrench to get them nice and tight. Um, I wanted to make sure that I got these nice and tight because the fact that it's not glued, um, you know, you can have water leaks on glue and on thread, um, but the fact that it was not gonna be glued and threaded, I wanted to make sure it was nice and tight, obviously not where it's going to crack. So, you know, put on your Teflon tape, decent amount, um, and get it nice and tight and you should be good to go. It does get a little tough because the, um, Teflon tape causes there to be some friction and uh, it does get a little tough to get them um, secure and nice and tight. So stick with it and uh, it's going to be rocking and rolling for you guys. Okay, so we got the first part done. The manifold section on the bottom where the water is going to come in and uh, we need to plug this end up. All right, so what we're doing now is putting that plug on that we just talked about, getting it on there. Okay, so we got the plug on there. So now if I ever want to add another valve, just take the plug out and then extend it on. Okay, so now the next step is to get the male nipples again and put tape on the threads and you are going to put them on the top section of the T-pipe. So you need threaded T's, threaded nipples, and Teflon tape to get this part of the project going. Again, using these to make it sure it's nice and tight. And um, it was hard, it was hard, but got it done, that's for sure. Okay, we got the next part done. We got all of the male threaded nipples on. We got the plug on, so we are good to go to the next step. Now what we need to do is we need to get all of this hooked up to this. Now what we got here is threaded to slip, which is going to go here, and uh, that's on all those, and then we'll go the rest of the way through. So let's go ahead and get this done, starting now. All right, so now what we're doing is we're getting tape again on the other edge of the threaded nipple, and this is gonna allow us to add some of the other pieces of PVC to it. So what we're doing is we are going from a three quarter inch thread to a three quarter inch slip. That is the adapter that we're using at the moment. The point of this is so that we can go and put the unions that you can see on the box onto the pipe so that if there's ever any problems with these sprinkler valves we can take them off by removing the unions so that is what you do here is you get that part set up um, and then you can glue it all together tape it all together and get it in there nice and tight Okay, so the next step now is going to be to get these that are pre-cut all glued in. Now it's time for the gluing, the primering and the gluing. So you can see here I'm primering all of the pieces that we are going to glue onto the three-quarter inch thread to three-quarter inch slip. Now I am searching for a smaller can because the brush on that, uh, <laughs> on that glue was quite large. So you're gonna to wanna to measure this down to where it's gonna fit in your location. Um, so I went with a certain size on these pieces of PVC in between all the adapters because of the space that I had. Yours can vary, it could be the same 
Um, but I suggest just going through and seeing what's going to fit for you guys and go from there. Wiping it down, something crucial to do is wipe it down. Now what I'm doing here is getting the unions put on. They can cost a couple of bucks each, but I'm going to tell you it is well worth the investment because if you ever need to replace anything on the valve or anything else, when you have the threaded parts too, it helps uh, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, but I mainly did this just so I can take the valves off if there's ever any issues with the valves. And like I said, what I'm doing is uh, I tried to wipe off any excess glue as much as possible just so it could be as clean as possible. Now getting the other part done. So this is going to be putting another small piece of PVC into the other union. So if you take a look at the sprinkler valves, you can see that I have the adapters already attached. Now the sprinkler valves were one inch, so I had to get a three quarter inch slip adapter that went to a one inch thread. Now I got that all set so that we can pretty much go after we get these uh, pieces of PVC done and get this glued together. The fun part, getting the valves on. I gotta say, uh, this was definitely a fun project to do. Uh, it looks super cool. And uh, making sure it's, you know, as straight as possible. Um, you know, a nice clean look is, you know, everything looking nice and straight. Probably went over and tested something just now. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, something that is gonna be amazing. So have you guys ever thought of doing anything like this? Comment down below if you have, even if you haven't. Do you think you might wanna do something like this to help you out? It took me some time to get the system done to build the manifold and you know obviously do the video but uh, it's gonna be well worth it at the end of the day. All right you can see we got the first section of this done. We got the valves on and it's ready to roll. So I got the union here, so if I ever need to make any repairs, you could easily take it off. So this is the first part of this awesome system. Okay, so we got this done. Now this stuff here, these are check valves, and these are pressure regulators, and this is how we're gonna connect these to these to these. So let's go ahead and get this stuff rolling. Okay, so what we're doing now is we are getting the top section of the manifold installed. Now, the black pieces that you see here are the pressure regulators. What these are gonna do is they're gonna bring the PSI that comes out of the tap down to 25. When you're doing a system like this, you do not wanna go full bore on like drip line type stuff because it could just blow the um, little valves that you're going to use right off. So you need a pressure regulator. Now, what I needed to do and what I could find was I had to get a garden hose female swivel. So it was a threaded female with a slip female and uh, that allowed me to connect the um, other part here which we're setting up now. The check valves onto the top of the system. So you, if you look on the right side, you can see that we got a piece of PVC that goes into the sprinkler valve. Then we got an adapter, three quarter to three quarter thread. Then we have the three quarter inch female thread and the slip female, which we attach what we're making right now to that. Now, actually I made a little bit of a mistake there. We are actually uh, installing the unions right now because these unions go on the bottom part of the manifold. The bottom part of this section of the manifold that is. So you can see we got a lot of things put together here. Take your time, 
measure, double measure, um, and just enjoy it. Have fun building it. Um, again, it is work, but the satisfaction of what this is going to be able to do. And I only have 10 tanks in my fish room, so think about you know some of the other people who have giant um, fish rooms or stores and things like that. Um, that is definitely something that uh, helps them out for sure and it's going to help me out. Now again you can see we are getting the check valves installed on the top. We got the unions on the bottom. The way it's looking right now you're looking the bottom part is the check valves and the other part is the union. Now as we're going on here I want to give a special thank you and shout out to James Largo of the Cichlid Shack. He gave me a lot of pointers and tips on uh, some of the best ways to install uh, and best types of things to use to install this system. So James, I want to say a big thank you, sir, for the help and inspiration to get this thing built. I also was referencing Steve Poland's video on how he assembled his. So special thank you and shout out to Steve Poland um, for you know doing his video on this as well. Check it out. We got the manifold and we got all of the uh, part here for the water system, the valves, the manifold, the union so I can pull anything off, the uh, pressure reducer, the backflow. Man, this thing is awesome. This thing is going to be rocking once it's ready to go. I am woo stoked. So if you guys are interested in this series, click the subscribe button and that notification bell. You guys will be informed when the next video comes out and I would be honored if you guys could subscribe. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you could comment down below, that'd be great. Thank you everybody for watching the video and stay tanked.